dann kommt eben die Steinbühler gesehen und das ist voll südseitig. Vielleicht geht es sich bis am Nachmittag aus. Da sind wir. Das zum Kriegen. Da ja. sind wir. Mhm. Da müssen wir rauf. Mhm. Da sind die Rauchröhren. Mhm. Und da ist das Steinbühler gesehen. Diese Wand. Okay, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Also das ist dann, kann dann nicht mehr so weit Südseitig, sein. Südseitig, ja. ja. Vielleicht reißt es noch auf. Okay. Da müssen wir lang. <laughs> Getting out of the fog here. Hmm? Na, wenn das nicht die Barracuda ist. So, I'm standing here in front of a pretty massive granite overhang. This granite overhang of the so-called Steinturm this is one of the crags of the Rauchröhren, which is an epic climbing area, I gotta say, in the uh, Bavarian forest, in the Bayerische Wald, on the Keitersberg. Kaitas Mountain, so to say. Now, how the hell did we get there? Now, the, the original plan was to drive down to Croatia or Slovenia or something like that, more to the Adriatic area, and um, do some climbing there over the next couple of days. But we figured out because of this huge weather front that is there at the moment, um, which brings a lot of rain and a lot of uh, cold air and stuff, we thought, okay, we might as well escape this rain to the north. And so we got lured in by a little bit of a pretty great looking weather forecast actually into the Bayerische Wald, into the Bavarian forest. Um, now the problem is apparently it rained a lot there in the past couple of days. And this area is around 1000 meters of elevation or something and it, it actually snowed here. So it's a bit of a problem because now there's a lot of snow on these cracks and now that it's getting warmer again it starts to melt and everything is wet. Um, however, we're still not quite sure about the strategy because there's actually kind of a warm wind blowing through here and everything is melting really fast. So we might as well wait here and wait until it dries. Um, this massive overhang that you can see here behind me is the overhang of the Steinturm. And through the middle roof of this overhang, so to say, so the most middle way, this is a route called Barracuda, which was um, first ascended by Michael Kies in 1998, as it seems. And there is a really cool video uh, also online of Adam Ondra on sighting this route. And it's an 8C plus, really bouldery, and I would have loved to check it out because it just looked so cool when Adam climbed it. I thought, okay, this is kind of an iconic line a little bit, the hardest route of the Bavarian forest. And I would like, I would have liked to check it out. Um, again, so we're not quite sure what we're gonna do now. Um, I think we're gonna check out the residual cracks as well of this area. So we went back to the so-called Stein, Steinbühlerksen. Steinbühlerksen. Check the topo. Uh, area which is the most left part of this crag and we're happy to find that some of the routes are almost dry already probably because of this warm wind that's going all the time and the sun is almost coming through it's only a very thin layer of clouds here so the strategy is gonna be to wait and <laughs> sip some tea while this wall is gonna dry up and then i think this rock looks pretty amazing actually. It'd be awesome to try some stuff. I think that's gonna happen today. Because it's getting drier and drier up there. Yeah, nice.
pretty unexpectedly the weather turned quite well during the day warm winds all of a sudden from the south and you know the snow melted so actually the conditions were quite good and we could check out our first project which was awesome and now we had our amazing post workout meal polenta with lecho and all sorts of other goodies and it was amazing again yeah <laughs> so yeah now it's time to um recover a little bit here mm. and then tomorrow we're gonna attack again yeah recover the skin yeah hopefully already having two splits here bit. it is really granite you know and really really small edges you know really um crispy small edges i would say and <laughs> kind of bury in your in your calluses here and creating some evil splits there but yeah maybe we're gonna check out paracuda tomorrow it's gonna be interesting <laughs> okay see you then <laughs> So it was super stormy tonight and we already thought it's probably gonna be super dry, super dry next morning and indeed the winter wonderland turned into an autumn wonderland it's amazing it's about 10 degrees warmer than yesterday and I think yeah it's a lot sunnier blue sky um, and I think all the roots should be dry definitely up there because up there the wind has to be pretty intense over this night so and we already could feel it yesterday when there was this warm these warm winds kind of a uh, you know kind of a pre-occurring thing to this storm tonight pretty interesting um, so yeah just finished breakfast now we're gonna go up and have some fun struck by another rapid conditions change again uh, a couple of hours ago it had 25 degrees nice wind super autumn style and I was able to get this uh, mr. mr. wonderful under my belt really nice route I have to say and now we're down at 6 degrees Celsius 75% humidity which is a crazy change. I think before it was 45% humidity. Really, really dry air and you know, it's just perfect autumn style conditions. Now it's got, got cold again, really fast, cloudy. And yeah, it's basically only two hours later. So, not quite sure what to do now. Uh, feeling pretty cold. Uh, let's see, get our hands on something hard. Um, yeah. Pretty sure I also have to save some skin for tomorrow. Let's see. Rührei mit Gemüse und Speck. Und Kartoffel. People have been asking what I'm eating now since I'm not in the vegan realm anymore so here we've got some eggs with vegetables and potatoes everything made by the glorious Thorsten best chef I ever knew <laughs> thank you <laughs>
quiet morning today no wind at all but really really fresh it's kind of a cold night body is wrecked especially my right hand from this Mr. Wonderful crimp Crux crimp right hand got myself two splits one on the pointer and one on the pinky and yeah hard crimping in combination with really cold and windy air kind of not so ideal it's cold up here tonight. Um, but yeah now it's time to get some breakfast in and uh, fight for this last day this third day of the Kaitersberg adventure I got my hands onto head and shoulders yesterday which is a really cool 8B through this Barracuda roof checked out Barracuda as well but definitely too hard for two days so I thought okay I'll let this sit for a while try the easier head and shoulders cool moves a bit scary in the beginning the clipping uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this done So that's the end, the end of day three of the Kaitersberg adventure. And the end of the trip. Great times, great times. You gotta say, really cool area. Very nice granite and super nice routes. Uh, left some unfinished business here, head and shoulders. Awesome stuff. But I wasn't quite able to finish it in one day, one day in a little bit. So yeah, gotta come back next time. Alright, so time to go down time and to hit, go home. 
Hitte Forellenheuriger. Yeah, find something to eat. 